The 2x1 with an airlock is the most widely used star base in Rust for most players. This is because it's cheap, compact, efficient, easy to make, and quick to build. The best configuration I could find for the 2x1 fits five large boxes, a small box, a furnace, a workbench, two sleeping bags, a research table, two metal doors, one double door, and would cost 3,570 stone and 600 wood. It would have airlock features here, and airlock features here. The interior of the base would be extremely compact, making movement for duos really hard. It also mean that generally a 2x1 is left because it cannot be expanded because the movement just isn't there in the core. 2x1 is also extremely cheap to upkeep at 370 stone and 60 metal frags. What if I told you there's a better way to start in Rust? A better starter base design that's just as efficient, just as compact, just as quick and easy to make, has higher storage, it's easier to move around and can be expandable later in game for just a little bit extra stone and a little bit extra wood. Meet the better alternative to a 2x1. A base that costs more to raid, a base you can easily move around in, a base that has more storage available, more space for utility areas such as furnaces, research tables and can be expanded later in game to make a main base. This base <laughs> It's five large boxes, a research table, a workbench, five small boxes, three furnaces, two sleeping bags, two sheet metal doors, and two sh double sheet metal doors. The base costs 4.245k stone and 709 wood, meaning it's just over 600 stone and 100 more wood. It's literally no difference whatsoever. It has the same outer airlock like the 2x1 has as well as another double airlock here and here. This space has much more space to move around as a duo and a solo, depending on when you open and close the doors, so it's quite easy to move around. It has three furnaces in the main core, and has a main storage area with your TC. You'll be bounced up by the furnaces onto these boxes, making movement just as easy. The upkeep is just over a hundred stone more, and just over 40 metal frags more, meaning there's barely any difference. The space is also easily expandable, as I'll show you here. Meaning you can make a main base quickly and easily. To begin with, you need to find a location to build your base. I suggest building near monuments or roads, so you can get easy components, scrap and early game items, as well as some good PvP. At first, place a triangle foundation and upgrade this to stone or wood, and place one square foundation and upgrade this to stone or wood. This is going to be your one by one start base. Place a wall frame, upgrade stone or wood depending on what you have and place a door this could be a wood door but I'm going to use metal because I have it but yeah you could use a wood door to begin with placing outwards place your TC in the very left hand corner of this one by one and place some essential items as well such as your sleeping bag and a couple of small boxes and maybe a furnace. To upgrade this, simply place, come outside, place a square here, a triangle here, upgrade these, and upgrade the rest of the walls upwards. This can be a stone or wood, depending on what level you're at. Make sure the doorway is facing to the right hand side of the triangle, meaning you'll have a better angle. Place in your airlock here. If you have furnaces, place them in the lower yarn part here. 
Once you've got your workbench, place this in the right hand corner of the second square, like so. And then if you built a research table, place that on the right of the workbench. You can also place a large wooden box under this workbench as far back as you can. Making sure you can place a sleeping bag in front. As you can see I can. Place a small wooden box here. Place a wall frame with that stone. And place your two sleeping bags here and here. And place the doorway facing outwards. Let's work to the placement of the boxes. So in this main room here, you want to take your box and place it as close as you can to the wall and the TC. So doing some um, Evil Rust has got some nice box placement tips on his channel, so you should go check that out if you need to find a better way to box placement. I'm not very good at it, but the videos have helped me. You can also pick up this door here to help. Place that as far back as you can into the corner and place a wooden box, small wooden box, as f uh, small wooden box, sorry, as far back into the corner here as you can. Again, quite a difficult thing to do. Actually, you might want to place these boxes here first. So here and here first. And then you'll be able to fit that one perfectly in there. Make sure you can still place your door in. If you go outside to the outside of your base here, place a foundation, a half height wall, and a triangle going into the base. You'll know you've got TC placement right if you can fit the triangle in. Go up onto the top here, and try to place the box as close as you can again, using placement tips. Um, it, it can actually be handy to take the door off again, uh, so uh, if you need to do that, make sure you do that. So I believe that's placed in fine, and you should be able to get a nice blue placement here. If you can't, like I'm having trouble doing here, pick up the other box and place this one first. So, go up here. And place this box in there like that and place this one in which works perfectly fine for me place a small box here and place your double door in and that is your perfect placement there's also your base and star base complete like I've showed you at the beginning you can expand this into your normal bases there's many bases with this style core which you can use um, but my personal expansion would be to add the triangles there. The triangles at the back like this. Like so. And then having your doorway over here somewhere. And having a utility room in here. And having some lookouts going around, some more utilities. Maybe even a loot room over there. A secondary loot room if you have a garage door here. Well, the expansion is really up to you, but it is much more expandable than a 2x1. It can work very well as a core for a secondary base, or a main base, should I say. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.